Hey guys, Saturday morning. Um, figured I'd let you know I got two projects I want to do this winter. Um, you probably noticed from a lot of my videos how dark it is here in the shop. Uh, there is no lighting and there's no electric uh, to this section of the barn. Um, the bank barn, and you saw them from my old uh, dairy barn tour, you know where the bank barn is. It's connected to this uh, freestall area. Um, it's so dark in here working on stuff. I can only be down here when it's daylight and if I do have something to do at night It's uh, <laughs> I'm here with the flashlight, so I want to get a lighting project done um, One thing that's nice with this building you can see the Up here in the rafters. There's a row of two by fours there and there and I want to uh, get an electric line here and uh, Probably every other, like one there, one there, uh, every other uh, two by four, um, or every other truss, I wanna get a, a light socket. And I'm probably just gonna use for the time being LED light bulbs. Um, one thing I don't know about, and if you guys know a lot about electricity, maybe you know more than me, um, I'm gonna get a spool of 12-2 wire, a uh, thousand foot spool, I think they're a thousand feet, either 500 or a thousand, whatever it is. But the panel box for this building is all the way at the other end of the bank barn. So I have to run a line all the way from the bank barn panel box at the other end of the barn, all the way out to here to a switch. Um, in the back here, I wanna get a couple lights. It's not gonna be quite as easy. Um, as far as there's not as many places to put uh, light bulbs. I'm probably, I don't want them hanging down in the way uh, so I'm going to have to figure out where along these two supports, just to put a couple back here. Um, out front is more or less where my shop is uh, going to be. Um, back here I'm just going to be storing equipment for the time being. But if any of you guys know how far, somebody I don't know if this is just somebody talking or if it's any truth to it. Um, you know, there's a turkey. Right in my front yard. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I have to run, this building here is 150 feet about, and then I have about, I don't know if this in he between here is about 20 feet, plus then the bank barn is another 80 feet. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be two, 300 feet, but I'm gonna have to run a 12-2 wire from the panel box, probably on a 20 amp breaker. Um, out to here. Somebody said I should use something heavier than 12-2 just because of the distance that the electric has to go. Uh, they're saying use like 10-2. I don't know if there's any truth to that. Uh, in my mind, 12-2 is 12-2. 20 amp is 20 amp. I can't see that it gets weaker over length. I don't know. Um, that's what my uh, one neighbor had suggested to use something heavier. So if anybody knows anything about electric, I, I can't see it. I, I can't see that 12-2 is uh, not gonna work. So we wanna get, I haven't decided back here. Like I say, all I'm working with are, I have a support rafter there and there. So I'll probably just put one on each end, one, two, kind of leave the center open. Um, and I probably would put the switches right inside here somewhere. Um, maybe out of the weather. I plan on putting it in conduit, anything that's down lower. Up in the rafters, it can just be 12-2. Um, I found a date here on the floor, 1966. So now I know when this part, this first part was built and it's kind of getting in rough shape. Some of that might be from the loader when they were manoring out, but uh, shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad. I don't want to go too wild here because I don't own the place yet. Um, so, Basically, if I'm going to do any improvements on the buildings, it's going to be uh, not 100% uh, sure that I'll get a return on the investment, but I have a long-term uh, rental agreement. It should be here quite a while. So I'd like to have some lighting in here. Uh, the second thing I'm planning to accomplish this winter, um, here in the corner I have uh, na tanks for nitrogen. I'd like to get these out of here. And in this corner set up like a, a workbench little bit of a work area uh, with a vise and uh, maybe get a receptacle out to here um, put some shelving some bolt bins get all my parts in one spot here 
Uh, it's a good spot, I think. It's it's right inside the door here. Um, as long as I don't come out any further than here, I shouldn't hit anything. And it's not going to take up maybe out to where the Cub Cadet is just a, a small corner, like a three-sided with shelving um, for all the parts and uh, get a set of receptacles. So it's a little bit easier to work on equipment down here. I don't have electric either. You can see I'm running a generator. Anytime I need to use the anything electric, that generator has to run. Uh, I'm not worried about power for a welder because I have a welder generator. And that's good enough. The engine should get run, any welding I have to do. Um, got a welder generator and I have it on this little snowmobile cart and my fuel tank on the snowmobile cart so not that I have very far to go or farming far, far away but if I have to do any welding I can go out in the field and do it and uh, I thought I'd show you this if this wouldn't have been an old uh, antler shed it would have been in the tire I'm almost 100% sure um, making hay the other day I uh, turned around at the edge of the field and I heard a pop and I looked to hear my front tire on the 685 ran over this uh, uh, deer shed and it actually broke the one tip off. So I was lucky it didn't go in the tire. It, it seems old, like it's been in the field for quite a while. So, dodged a bullet there. So anyway, those are two projects that I'm planning to do this winter. Uh, and if anybody has any, knows anything more about electric, I don't know if that's just rumors, but uh, I think anyway, 20 amps, 20 amp, and 12.2 should take 20 amp as far as you run the wire. Um, you figure they make extension cords that are 100 feet long. I don't know. You guys might know better. Uh, feel free to comment. So thanks for watching.